The answer is the Helleborn Strike, in which the Army helicopter provides rapid troop mobility where there had been none, and surprise where the Viet Cong had vanished into the jungle days before a reprisal force of Vietnamese could slog their way to the scene of brutal raid and terror. What type of helicopters have been selected? Troop carrier is the big twin rotor H-21. When the Vietnamese division commander schedules a strike, 10 Vietnamese soldiers with their battle equipment are allotted to each aircraft. So the total load in the H-21 is 14 personnel, including the crew. The four-man American Army crew consists of the pilot, the co-pilot to his left, the crew chief, who sits up close to the pilot and is the gunner, firing the 30 caliber machine gun out the right side door. The fourth crewman could be termed the left doorman. He supervises the movement of Vietnamese troops in and out of the aircraft and during flight as well as on arrival at the landing zone. He is ready with an automatic weapon at the left side door. So the H-21's only in-place weapon is one 30 caliber machine gun. However, whatever armament the troop carrier has is of secondary importance. Now with the H-21's at the loading zone. There is an early morning briefing by the H-21 company commander prior to the first flight. Flight routes and formations are discussed. All frequencies and call signs remain the same. Vietnamese who are to act as flight observers on the UH-1s are also carefully briefed. And the H-21 troop carriers take on their loads of Vietnamese soldiers. Ten men with their equipment into each big helicopter. which is now setting out for the landing zone. And the pattern of flight begins to evolve. Five degrees left. Five degrees left. Fine. Now, just over that line of trees. That's good. You're about one minute out. One minute out. With this reassuring sight before them, the pilots of the first group of H-21s bring in their ships, maintaining the staggered positioning in their pattern of landing. It takes approximately 10 to 15 seconds to discharge the 10 Vietnamese soldiers from each H-21. As the groups fly one minute apart, the pilots and crews are under pressure to see that this unloading is done smartly. Then the troop carriers take off, well in advance of the H-21 group following. So as the lurking enemy is being blasted, and with ground troops landed to mop up, the Helleborn action is being won. 